Hey, hi there, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. And thank you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for your weekend reading, February 9th and 10th of 2019. This is a condensed general reading, so please only take those portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot and also helps to bring your vibrations into the future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Taurus. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background. It's the foundation of the matter. The Six of Wands, Taurus. Fire energy. This is a great card. It has to do with victory and triumph. You're receiving pets on the back and accolades. This is good news and success. You've met the challenges of your position, your work, or your reputation, and you've come out with flying colors. Any past doubt has been resolved. Now there's victory at hand. You've overcome the opposition. You're in the process of winning some big battles. You really can expect to succeed and, and have your desires gratified. Gifts may be received. This is praise and recognition and promotion, and you're making progress. You've worked hard, and you deserve these accolades. But beware of pride. Make sure you thank those people that have helped you out or given you a gift, or got you where you are. You know there's other people that look to you for guidance. Responsible and ethical action is required. And the most powerful way to teach is by modeling our behavior and attitudes of ourselves. Now you can take time to celebrate your triumph. But remember, you still have a little more to go yet. You haven't yet reached your final destination. And now your second card. This is the energies crossing over your path. The Six of Cups. There, Taurus. More water energy here. This has to do with emotions and feelings. And this is the second six in your layout, which can represent irritability. Maybe it's because of that Three of Swords coming up there. These are happy memories. Looking back and feeling, feeling nostalgic. Maybe receiving a gift. So be open for nurturing. This is an emotional conversation that's connected to your past that will shed light on your future. Treat people around you with kindness. These are childhood memories has to do with innocence and friendliness. And you can brighten the day of another person with a small gesture of kindness. This could be a reminder to become childlike again. You could be resolving bad childhood experiences by returning to a childlike openness and joy. So take an opportunity as it presents itself to cast off old feelings and fulfill important wishes. This is someone that might be digging up missing aspects of our rich store of past experiences. A person may not want to get their fingers dirty. This is being protected. This is also a blooming spiritual experience. Could be meeting with an old friend or an old lover. But remember, it has something with the roots in the past being reconsidered and some kind of past effort may bring present or future rewards. 
These are things done from the heart. And there may be a surprise gift. And now your third card, and this is how it affects you. Kind of wonder what's going on here, Taurus. The Three of Swords has to do with your mind and thoughts. There's some kind of difficult loss. It's a painful truth. It could be your hopes were higher than the results. It's bringing you some sorrow and regret. Could be a separation, a severance, or feeling isolated from something you love. When you're feeling this pain of separation, but the suffering comes from holding on to a past thing that's happened, this could be a love triangle. It's loss and sorrow, some kind of betrayal, maybe the end of a relationship, or the loss of trust due to the betrayal. Or a rejection. Sometimes this indicates losing your job. Or it could be the end of some sort of ailment through the surgery. Or letting go of some way of thinking that's no longer useful to you. It's not an easy loss. But the release will make room for further growth and maturity. Pain is a strong motivator to change. And there's something you can fix and when you fix it you will grow. This could be you had a disagreement with someone and now the end of the disagreement is near and relief of the tension and argument is at hand. So forgive and forget. Your fourth card, it's the future card. The results, the outcome, and the advice. The Four of Wands, Taurus. This is fire energy. This is a wonderful card. This has to do with celebration. This is the completion of a stage. There are results here. These are good times. Sometimes this can indicate a coming marriage. But it has to do with romance and harvest in your home. A time to pause and relax. This card is extremely positive. You'll be enjoying life and reaping rewards. This tells of something new soon coming, and it's a happy time. There's going to be success, being happy and productive. It's a celebration and reward after labor. This is a pause in activities and a tranquil time of rest. Sometimes this indicates purchasing a new home. But this is a foundation for creativity and it heralds prosperity, arrival, and rejoicing. You're going to be happy and triumphant, feel liberated, and you're going to feel sociable. You might have re reached a milestone, so you'll be celebrating. You're going to get to feel gratitude. So celebrate your accomplishments. You've had success in your journey, so now take time to honor your hard work. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's the underlying issue, something that's unseen. The Four of Cups, Taurus, water energy. You might be waiting for the right opportunity. You're feeling some discontent. And this is the second four in your layout. It can represent you're not getting enough sleep or rest. So you do, you do have some options. There's an offer. And you're contemplating joy. You might feel like drifting and dreaming before you get back to that daily grind. Feeling some indifference, some dissatisfaction, maybe boredom. You're daydreaming. There's a withdrawal from an emotional situation. Could be that you're tired of a situation. You're taking time out to contemplate and meditate on your emotions. But the answers and inspiration you need are there for you. 
so do not sink into apathy, because it blocks you from seeing other emotional opportunities. So play, pay close attention to your dreams and signs and synchronicities. And do not get stuck in your withdrawal. You'll find ways to move forward. And now your oracle card from The Sacred Traveler by Denise Lynn. This is a great adventure. Take a risk. Venture forward. This card means that at the end of your life, you're more likely to regret the things you didn't do than the things you did do. Take risks. Not every risk enables success, but if you don't try, you'll never know what remarkable experiences are available to you. By stepping out of your comfort zone, you'll discover new talents and abilities. Playing safe in the long run is no safer than venturing forth with glee. To quote Helen Keller, Life is either a daring adventure or nothing. The Sacred Traveler wants you to know to hoist your sails, catch the trade winds of adventure and enter the open seas, explore new ports of call. It's easy to stay safe in the harbor, but that's not where the juice of life is. When you sail the open seas, without knowing what the day will bring, life force energy is activated within you. There is no guarantees when you take a risk, but be willing to go out on a limb, because that's where the best fruit is. And when you push yourself beyond your personal boundaries, life is so much more fulfilling. Thanks, you guys. Now stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, please. Here's your take note moment. If you have the needing money in your vibration, then you will continue to attract needing money. We seek to find a way of being happy now, feeling grateful now, feeling good now and being in joy now, without the money. You see, those great feelings are how we will feel when we have the money, but money does not bring happiness, but happiness brings money. This applies to anything we want or need or desire. So be present in the moment and focus on good feelings. Thanks, you guys. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.